Men who go to war to win medals usually wind up losing battles. The medals and decorations which are awarded to soldiers are an after act on the part of a grateful nation. And the men to whom they are awarded are often very much surprised to discover that what they thought was their simple duty was actually an act of great courage. At Bastogne, where the German army almost succeeded in breaking through in the winter of 1944, a young farmer from Michigan became a seasoned combat veteran. His name, Private Joseph Richardson. This is his story. Don't just stand there. Keep moving. You're holding up the whole war. Come on, close it up. Yes, sir. Can you tell us where we're heading for? To the picnic grounds. Get your box lunch at the head of the line. Yes, sir. Where's the rest of you, anyway? The rest of me? Well, all of you ain't in that uniform, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess I am a little bit underweight. But I got a waiver from the draft board. A waiver? You don't need a waiver. What you need is a few square meals. But you sure ain't going to get them around here. What's your name? Richardson. Go on, Richardson. Close it up. Yes, sir. Hey, soul, you've got to learn to hold on that weapon. You might need it someday. Yes, Hi. Is this Baker Company? That's us. I was told to report to Sergeant Rayfield. Okay. Go ahead and report. Richardson Joseph reporting as ordered, sir. Oh, I ain't heard anybody report like that since Fort Dix. Hey, look at this new pack. Ain't never been opened. Yeah. Got any rations? A few. What do you know? Cigarettes. Hey, what's a young fellow like you doing with cigarettes? Of course, you wouldn't dream of smoking. I never have. Well, you leave them with me. I'll see that they're returned to the proper authorities in due course. Put them back where you got them, Mike. Oh, but sorry. Put them back. Sit down, son. Get warm. Here, have some coffee. Thanks. How long since you were in combat, Joe? Combat? Well, I... Never mind. You're in combat now. Carry your weight and you'll be all right. Don't they'll eat you. Pete McCall here is my first scout. I'm making you my second. I don't know much about being a scout. No, that makes two of us. Put it there. Say, Sarge, how many days till Christmas? What's it to you? You ain't gonna celebrate. Well, I heard they had 50 tons of turkey back at Division. Yeah, that's where it's gonna stay, back at Division. They can't eat them all. Why not? They got time. The date, 16 December. 1944. The last desperate attempt by the Germans to break through the Allied front on the Ardennes began. The fight was on. Moving up behind one of the most deadly barrages of artillery fire ever directed against an Allied force, 25 German divisions thrust forward against the thinly held Allied fronts. Allied forces prepared as best they could against the German thrust. It began to look as though the Germans would succeed in their plan to split the Allied forces and drive on to the sea. Little pockets of American troops tried desperately to hang on to their positions. 
Get that weapon out of the snow. You want it to freeze up? Shall I try to raise the command post again? Uh-uh. Crouch might get a fix on us. Now, if they were out there, they'd have shot us up by this time. They're there. You saw that burning tank out there. That's ours. They're everywhere. You think we'd be falling back if they weren't around? Falling back? Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah, and here all the time I thought we were running around in circles just to confuse them. Yo. Yeah. See that piece of high ground out to the side of those trees? Yeah, I see it. You cut along the side of the field till you get to it. Maybe you can get a look and see what's on the other side. Think you can make it? I guess so. Get going. Come back here. That snowshoe is deep. Yeah, remind me to send back to base and get some snowshoes. Don't you ever learn you're supposed to crawl. Spread your weight. I'll try again. Let me do it, Sarge. I'm more used to it than he is. Okay, McCall. On your way. What do you think you're shooting at? You're just wasting ammunition. What do you think you're going? To bring him in. He may still be alive. Correction. He's dead. I can't afford to have you dead, too. You're my first guy now. But it was my job. He was doing my job. You didn't give him the order. I did. Now we know. It'll take armor to get through those trees. As soon as it's dark, we'll head back for the CP. What are you gonna do about McCall? What do you want me to do? We were sent up here on this patrol to find out if there's anything in those woods. Well, we found out. It cost us a man. Anybody else have anything to say? On December 25th, 1944, the men of the 318th Infantry were served the Christmas dinner they didn't think they would ever get. How's turkey, Joe? Great. Good as any I ever raised back home. You raised turkeys? Oh, a few. Raised corn, mostly. Half a section. Sweet golden bantam. A few hogs. Oh, I didn't know you were a farmer. I was just beginning to be, I guess, until I got into this. Wrap it up, man. We're moving out. Huh? Five minutes. The men of the 318th didn't finish their turkey that Christmas day, 1944. Headquarters ordered their immediate departure for Bastogne to relieve the embattled 101st Airborne, which until then had borne the brunt of the German attack.
okay, little soldier? Yeah, I'm okay. Boy's all right? Okay, Sarge. How about it, Brad? On your feet. Let's go. Joe? What is it? Ain't you learned yet? Put that rifle to bed with you if you don't want to see it freeze up on you. Thanks. Hey, Sarge. Yeah? You've been pretty nice. And, well, if we ever get out of this, I mean, if you're ever up in northern Michigan, I'd like to have you visit. I think you'd like it up there. Maybe I will, if we ever get out of this. The town of Ettlebrook lay athwart the route of the American replacement forces. The 318th was ordered to take it. We're going to have to hit that town with everything we've got. And we are going to have to do it without artillery or air cover. Nothing can get through until we've taken it. And that's what we're going to do at all costs. Any questions? Move out.
cops up there. I'm gonna stay here, Sarge. Your guess is good as mine. All I know is we were told to take this town and hold it. We're holding down our share of it. It's kind of quiet out there. I'm going out and take a look. many German prisoners taken in the town of Ettelbrook, the 318th had actually pulled out unaware of the fact that they were leaving behind Sergeant Rayfield and a small group of men who had somehow missed out on the orders and were now holding the entire town. The Germans were not going to give up without another attempt to recapture the town. Um 5 Uhr sind sie alle einsatzbereit. Um 6 Uhr greifen wir an. The German counterattack on Ettelbrook was scheduled for 0600 hours that morning. What is it? 
something's coming. Get up in the attic and take a look. Three tanks, a lot of troops. I think they're trying to get at us from both ends. We better hit the road. What are we gonna do? We can't run, that's for sure. They got one tank coming in from the east, the other's going around to paint us in. Anyone ever fire a bazooka? I fired one once in basic training. Listen, two houses down, there's a bazooka and some ammo. I saw it last night. Want to take a crack at it? I'll try. Look, go out that window. Take the back way. Try to keep from getting spotted. Thank you, are going. I don't think he's going to make it. You ain't going to be no use, even if it doesn't. Unless you can fire a bazooka. Can you? No. No, I can't. I didn't tell you to stage a one-man battle. Gee, Sarge, the boys sure have them on the run, don't they? For the action you have just witnessed, 
Private Richardson received from a grateful nation the Silver Star.